When I quit my corporate job, I went to Mykonos for five months and I'm finally back in London. Yeah, I had a lot of mails. I used to live 10 years in London and it was so nice to get away for a few months. So now I can enjoy even more coming back to London for one week. I felt a bit like a tourist. This is Piccadilly Circus. The city center was so busy. It felt like it's back to normal, like back as it was before COVID. So I went to Soho to see some friends and it was so good. I started my healthy habits again, like drinking celery juice and doing smoothies every day. It was just so nice to be home. Hello, hello everyone. I am back in London for one week. It's actually almost the end. I'm leaving tomorrow and I was so, so happy to see my flat. I realized how much I miss my flat because I got it during the lockdown and I really put effort into the decoration. I'm going to do a house tour later. Um, you know, I'm also someone who loves interior design. So when I got this flat, um, I should also do a video on how I manifested this flat. Uh, it was during the lockdown and I hired the interior designer because I was I really wanted to do something nice and um, and I also love interior design but I never studied it or anything uh, so I didn't feel comfortable to do anything on my own so I hired interior design Astrid um, and I really put a lot of effort and energy into decorating my place and it, it also took me a few months to finish it because I wanted a flat where I feel really, really good. I wanted to decorate it in a way that I feel so good, I feel luxurious, I feel abundant. I put some expensive furniture that it took me many, many months to pay back. Um, I hired the interior design to get all the tips and, and ideas and really decide what was the best option. I yeah, really, really put effort and energy and money into my flat because I really wanted to look good and to feel good. And, and seriously, I can see the difference. Like, since I'm here, I'm more motivated for, to do work. I'm more productive. I, I just feel good here. I want to do things. I have ideas. I'm more inspired. Like, I realize how, for me, the flat situation is environment where I am is really important and I actually don't want to leave like I feel so good here I miss my flat so much and I also made it I also made it so functional like everything you need is here um, it's very well organized um, like it's just so comfortable and so easy and you find things easily and I don't know, I just have everything someone would need, you know? It's just so nice. I really don't want to leave, like, I love my flat so much. Also, you know, I realized that, you know, when I got this flat during the lockdown, it also made me feel more confident in myself because, you know, maybe it helped to ground me and to know that I have something that is mine that no one will take away from me because I don't know if it's because of my childhood was a bit unstable, so I need I need this stability, and this flat gave me this stability that it's mine. No one will take it away from me. If something happened, I don't need to get to go out. Uh, if I have a lodger staying here, and we don't get along, they will leave, not me. Like it's mine. It's, it, I'm always gonna be able to come here and to have this place and have somewhere to. To, to live, right? I think in 10 years in London, I moved flat six or seven times because I didn't get along with the people in the flat or I didn't like the flat. And so I always had to, to leave. So this place was like finding stability, finding ground, you know, groundiness um, because the building has bricks. So I wanted something a bit between industrial and elegant. I'm gonna show you around in a bit. Realize how it's so important for me, the, the environment, and to have my space and to be in a nice flat, nice environment. Uh, tomorrow I'm going back to Athens and I realized that I really need to have a nice flat situation over there. Another thing is that I removed my eyeliners. So I had some attachment with the eyeliners that I had to wear every day. So I finally removed them. So this is my final piece. 
um, yeah, I'm happy with the result. I didn't have a big problem before. It's just that I had braces in the past. And when I was a child, I had a night, uh, night eyeliner. And this night eyeliner was actually small because I had it since I was 15 years old. And I wanted yeah, to renew the, um, made them more straight because they had moved a little bit. And now I have a proper night eyeliner. Yeah, I'm really happy with the result. So the kitchen island was not here. Uh, we designed it with Astrid, the interior designer. Um, yeah, it was all made um, on measure. Then I added these tiles here. It was not there. I'm gonna show you pictures before and after. And then this wall, the bricks were not there, it was all the white wall. So for the bricks, it was really complicated because we didn't know if we we're gonna put real bricks or find another solution. So we, every time we asked a lot of samples of different products and then decide what was best. So these are like big tiles actually, um, big tiles uh, with, with many bricks. So Astrid, the interior designer, had a super good idea to do a wall with a concrete uh, effect and then and then opposite side put the same concrete effect and I really wanted a fireplace so this is like ethanol fireplace I think it looks I don't know it made it, made it looks a bit more luxurious this is called a money plant I didn't know it's called a money plant a friend of mine gave it to me uh, I guess it's for good luck and uh, prosperity so I used to have more plants like here, but most of them they died. Um, I don't know, I'm not good with plants yet. So these two survived and one here that survived. But I'm not very good with plants, unfortunately. I also have a small balcony, which is so nice. And kind of a, kind of a nice uh, open view. The cool thing is that right down this road, so two minute walk, it's um, a commercial street. So there's lots of supermarkets, shops, um, mall. There was a, there is a mall just here. Um, there is actually two malls uh, very close by, like five minute walk with a cinema and um, lots of shops. Yeah, I really like to be in the area where it's kind of busy where it's kind of you where you find everything easily like nearby like where you have all the shops everything you need close by not when you have to drive 10 minutes to get to a bakery or supermarket like i like to be in the action you know so this one when i was looking for a flat i really wanted a place that is near shops and supermarkets where it's easy to 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 find the stuff you need so yeah, I'm really happy because here is kind of a residential street, so it's quiet. But down this street, one minute, not even 30 seconds walk, I have all the shops and everything. So I'm really, was really, really happy with that. Also the tube is seven minute walk, so it's also perfect, um, not far from transportation. You know, I love interior design so much. I think this is my creative side again. I love beautiful places, beautiful flat, beautiful decor. And beautiful doesn't mean only luxurious, you know, like this is more like industrial style, but I love it. I think if I didn't study finance, I would have done interior design. And also I really love property. I think I'm gonna be a property investor. So I already have this flat on, that I bought on my own. But yeah, I can see myself be a property developer, property investor, and then and then and then refurbishing on my flats before renting them, and, or having a villa in a Greek island, or maybe multiple villas and and renting them. Yeah, this is my creative side. Yeah, I really love interior design, decor, properties. A few things were actually DIY. So for example, these shelves, we didn't buy them already made. We made them ourselves. I mean, not me. Uh, the workers so basically we bought on eBay the pipes and then 
the woodworker um, got us all the wood we need. So then he cut it. We gave them, we told them the measure. He cut it and then we choose the wax. So I had to choose also the wax. It was so much fun. Then we, uh, you know, the woodworker put the wax and they put it all together. So this was actually DIY. So this is my bedroom. Really, this was the guest bedroom and I have the master bedroom that used to be my bedroom with its ensuite bathroom um, and this bedroom has also a bathroom outside of the room uh, but now I have a lodger in, my, in the master bedroom so I cannot really show you but I will show you pictures uh, but it's fine you know I love this bedroom uh, I'm not here that often anymore so it's perfect just has some some of my stuff I'm also so proud of myself that I really, really decreased the amount of stuff I have. So during the lockdown, before I moved here, I got rid of a lot of clothes. Like I used to have so many clothes and stuff. Like I used to have two, three doors uh, wardrobe. Plus in the, in the hallway, I had another like storage that was full of clothes and shoes and stuff. And so when I moved to this flat, I, I gave a lot away. I sold some stuff. Then I moved here, I kept selling or giving. Um, I also give clothes to my cousin and my uh, niece in Greece. Um, just getting rid of a lot of stuff. Like I want to be more minimalistic. So I'm really happy that now I just have this wardrobe and most of my stuff fit in there and it's not even full. So, and okay, I still have a little bit of clothes in Paris and, and I have one suitcase of summer clothes in Greece. Uh, but yeah, otherwise most of my stuff is here and I'm really happy and I, and I, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep like decreasing the amount of stuff I have. Yeah, I really want to be more minimalistic. We don't need like, you know, during lockdown for two years, I didn't use any of my clothes that I used to for work, for the office. So I got rid of all of this. I mean, most of it. Uh, summer clothes, like, because I always buy new in the summer, then now I get rid of the old, the, the very old stuff. Uh, even if I still love them, you know, then you accumulate, you never wear them. Like I used to have clothes I will not even wear once a year. Like, you know, we don't need so many stuff and it's taking space, it's difficult. And then, you know, you always think about your stuff. I need any space for my stuff and oh, where are my stuff? And you get to attach to them. So, you know, I really, I really train myself to learn to be more minimalistic. The other thing I added were the lights. So this light, we added it, it was not there. This one as well, we added, it was not there. I want to show you a little trick, this. Love it, I got it on Amazon. And you see, again, like I wanted to make my flat like really functional, really organized and easy. This is a little trick. So this is my laundry room and I also added these shelves um, to have more storage. This also was totally made on measure in the entrance for the shoes. 